vacuum can make a car look a whole lot better All right now I still have to shampoo everything but and that's going to be the last thing actually it's raining right now so I have to uh, do the interior first um, just because you can see there's a lot of mold and stuff on the inside of the door frames right in there so i'm definitely going to need my pressure washer i was going to try to do this by hand it's a 2009 kia spectra and they're about to sell it so i want to make it look good for them and it's been sitting for a couple months as you can see that's why that's why all this mold uh appears on the top well we're going to do the best we can so on to some express detail cleaner most likely I may have to use the full strength because there's a lot of big stains in here. All right, so the rain stopped. Beautiful day, around 60 degrees. Um, when you have a bunch of dirt buildup like this, this, and this, you see that right there? Like, like stuff like this, have a bunch of dirt. Your best bet is to pre-treat it with some waterless wash. And that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna pre-treat it and then uh, foam it and the, so there's the, I don't know how long those stains have been there but that's better than what than what it was um, I may have to hit it again a couple spots but a whole lot better than what it was they're just trying to sell get as much as they can out of this car but yeah just pre-treating the door sills and the trunk with some waterless wash that will actually help break down that stuff and then you agitate it with a uh, I use, so what I do is I just use an older wheel brush that I've retired. I retire them every so often. So I just use an old, like right now I'm using an old Adams brush to actually do that. You know what? Just go ahead and put that right there now. So let me get some cars moved around and let's wash it. 